At Belmont, we have a we have developed a tradition that the president usually delivers the commencement address. One of the great things about retirement for these two is they won't hear my addresses anymore. Um, but I would add my congratulations and gratitude for these two lives that have been dedicated to you and given to you. And I, I just, uh, there's nothing that moves me more than that kind of dedication. But back to the commencement address. Uh, this practice of having the president pre present the address began after I surveyed the graduating seniors one year and asked them what kind of speaker they'd like to have. The overwhelming choice was none of the above. <laughs> they'd like to have no speaker at all. And I'm about the closest thing you can find to that. So I began with my same classic quote at every commencement from Garrison Keeler, who said something to the effect that the commencement speaker is like a small, dark cloud passing over what is an otherwise bright and joyous day. <laughs> so I'll try, I always try to make it a very brief and, and small cloud. I love music and have found that for me, the lyrics of songs contain some powerful truths. On several of these occasions, my remarks have consisted almost, ex almost exclusively of song quotes linked together. I hear a few comments from a couple of my friends who have to endure this over and over, and they say they're a little tired of this. But I just began with a quote from Don Henley and the Eagles. Get over it. <laughs> and especially I want to say, and I said to the, faculty mus the music faculty this morning as I approached this, I know it's only rock and roll but I like it. <laughs> so, yes, I do. And given that Vince Gill was our special honoree this morning, receiving an honorary doctorate, I mean, I had to do it. Uh, I, would, I would tell you that Vince made one of the most, uh, one of the sweetest statements, and I think that's not unusual for him. But when he received his honorary doctorate in humanities, he said, that's great, and I like that but I was hoping it was in friendship. Uh, and went on to talk about his great friendship with our basketball coach and how that led him to create three endowed scholarships on behalf of our students. But the quotes that I'm going to use today came from songs performed in this order by the following groups, starting with White Snake, The Rolling Stones, Fleetwood Mac, The Who, Marvin Gaye, Four Non Blondes, Rolling Stones again, Madonna, The Beatles, Coldplay, The Eagles, Vince Gill, Barbara Streisand, The Young Bloods. I know, I, don't start making faces yet. <laughs> I looked for something from Katy Perry, but I didn't find anything I was willing to use. <laughs> so, um, Nickelback, John Lennon, Louis Armstrong. Tim McGraw, U2, The New Radicals, Vince Gill again, Brooks and Dunn, Norris Barkley, Joe South, Tears for Fears, jo George Bernard, John Newton, Charlotte Elliott, George Clay, Bob Dylan, Tom Petty, The Romantics, Tricia Yearwood, Miley Cyrus, Coldplay again, The Clash, Semisonic, The Moody Blues, Roy Orbison, Leona Lewis, The Police, Amy Grant, The Stylistics, Journey, Fleetwood Mac, Joshua Eric Wright, and ending with imagining Steven Tyler of Aerosmith. So, here I go again. Remember, get it, white snake? Okay, here I go again. And I hope you like it, like it. Yes, I do. But if you don't, just tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. <laughs> and I want to begin with a couple of very high level questions for you graduates, like, who are you? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and more generally, uh, what's going on? And as I stop and look around, it's clear to me that we're living in a material world. <laughs> but surely you've discovered that money can't buy me love. And I bet you already know the emptiness that comes when you get what you want, but not what you need. S stuck in reverse. 
And, and you have to know the video well <laughs> to get that. Okay. Uh, probably shouldn't try any of that stuff. Okay, I'll just, you're right, Judy, I'll stick with the quotes. Um, but it seems to me some fine things have been laid upon your table, and I hope you don't only want the ones that you can't get. And when it comes to the things that matter, I believe it's really about loving God and loving people. People who need people. really are the luckiest people in the world. So come on, people. Smile on your brother. Everybody get together and just try to love one another right now. And imagine if everyone cared, then what a wonderful world it would be. We would love deeper and speak sweeter and give forgiveness that we've been denying. We would live like we were dying. And you would give yourself away and give yourself away, always knowing that you only get what you give. It's so true, no matter what you make, all that you can take is what you give away. There's, you know, there's going to be a judgment day. What will you say? Which leads to God. You can't tell me that it all ends in a slow ride in a hearse. I raise my hands and I bow my head. I believe and who do you, who do you think you are, bless your soul? Do you really think you're in control? If you do, I think you're crazy, probably. And I know it's hard to see God sometimes when people are walking up to you, singing glory, hallelujah, and, and then they try to sock it to you in the name of the Lord. So instead of joining them and everyone who wants to rule the world, I urge you to cling to the old rugged cross and say, I surrender all to the God whose amazing grace accepted me just as I am and lifts me up from the drowning flood. And know that loving God is about serving people. Make, most, no, make no mistake, you're going to serve somebody. Well, it may be the devil or it may be the Lord, but you're going to serve somebody. So decide what's right. You've got just one life in a world that keeps on pushing you around. Stand your ground and don't back down. And you'll figure it out. That's what I like about you. And be, remember those goals. Remember those mountains. There's always going to be another mountain. You're always going to want to make it move. But it ain't about how fast you get there. It ain't about what's waiting on the other side. It's... That's great. That's good. I just outed some Miley Cyrus fans right here. It's the climb. Yeah. So give it your best, because if you never try, you'll never know just what you're worth. Well, it's time to confront that classic question, should I stay or should I go? And the answer is, it's closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> so go now before you see me cry. And instead of crying over you, this faculty and I are going to smile because we deserve to. But no, I'll be watching you. And I will remember you. And I bet you by golly wow, you're going to be a huge success. Don't stop believing. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Life is short, but there's time enough to dream. Indeed, dream on, dream on. Dream until your dreams come true. <laughs>